Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's J Little Jammer. We back again with the Moto G4 Play. Um, I did a little unboxing on it yesterday when my voice is gone. Um, as you can tell, my voice has still not come back. Um, it's still at Carnival, so we're gonna we're gonna try do this as easy as we can. But um, yeah. So day later, um, update everything on the phone. Got all the you know the normal. Google Play apps there updated. Um, put a few basic bitch apps on there as well, um, like Instagram, Twitter. We got Pokemon Go running on there as well. You know all that basic bitch stuff. Um, and um, yeah, we just mainly update everything. I mean, if you don't know the um the ins and outs of this phone and the stats, um, basically you got that five inch display. You got a quad core processor, but I think it's only at like one gigahertz or something. Um, eight megapixels on the back, five megapixels on the front. NFC in this one and the bigger models or the more expensive premium models, I should say, don't have NFC. Got 2,800 battery in there. Um, and you got room for micro SD card storage. This has only got 16 gigabytes in the phone. Um, of which I had eight gigabytes left to play with once the system had its way with the remaining stock, um, storage that I had on there, the onboard storage. But anyway, yeah, we're going to get into it right now. Um, initial thoughts or initial, um, like feeling about this phone, it, it does its job. It, it's, there's no frills, but it does its job kind of thing. As you can see, I mean, I haven't got that much on there at the moment and I'm sure if I put on anything else, um, the phone will eventually run out of memory and start going slow. But, um, as you can see, it feels quite responsive at the moment. Um, and it's got that removable battery in there. That was, that was one of my main things. I might actually keep this phone. I was actually going to send it back as I usually do. Um, okay. I, oh my gosh, that case is hard, but that, that is all removable. I can just lift that out, replace it with a new one when the battery gets tired. Um, I can't do that with my OnePlus 3 and I can't do that with the Galaxy S7 as far as I know. And nor can you do it with the Motorola G4 and the G4 Plus. So, um, it's weird that on their cheapest phone, they put NFC and they put a removable battery. So, um, yeah, anyway, um, we might as well just, you know, check some of the apps. I mean, it's got one gigabyte RAM in here. Um, and we got a couple apps running in the background at the moment. I think they probably all shut down, but I mean, anyway, let's go into Instagram. As you can see that is scrolling quite well. Um, if you're not already following me, follow me on Instagram. It's, um, same as my YouTube channel, J Jamal TV HD. Um, Right now, this is not really tech. This is just me at Carnival whining on someone. Um, yesterday, this is why I lost my voice. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, if you're not already following me on um, Instagram, you know, make sure you check that out. Um, I post. I usually post stuff here before I put it on YouTube. So um, yeah, that's all cool. And I follow a couple of cool guys and you know trainers and crap. Um, anyway, come out of that, we got um basic bitch Insta. Oh no, no, this is basic bitch Twitter. Um. Yeah, a little bit of lag on the load in there, going into my notifications. Um, if you are also not following me on Twitter, it is, would you believe it, J Jamo TV HD. So, um, yeah, we got that. But, um, as you can see, the performance feels fine. You know, we got a bit of quick scroll in there and can stop that. You know, we can go into that. You know, we can like whatever. We can hard that. We don't even know why I'm hearting that. Um, First British Airways gave me the wrong boarding passes, so we were treated like terrorists, and now they've left all our luggage at Gatwick. Good times, it sounds like. Good times indeed. But, um, yeah, so that's that. Um, we've got Pokemon Go. Um, this did not actually load up the first time I tried it, so let's see if it loads up while I'm recording it, or if it starts acting up again. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing much at the moment, I'm going to come out of this. We ain't got time for a seat. Let's wait. So Pokemon Go looks like a no-go on this phone so far. Um, I'm actually going to have to go outside and use it on 4G and see if it makes a difference. But so far, we're on Wi-Fi in my house and it's not happening. Um, we got Drastic, the um, Nintendo DS emulator right here. And that seems to work quite well so far. I mean, we're going to try some Pokemon Heart Gold right here. Um, I mean, hopefully... Hey, there we go. There we go. Hey. And that emulation looks quite all right there. There we go. No noticeable lag in that. 
And that that seems to be quite all right, you know. I mean, the phone is doing its job. I mean, it's not it's not giving me any surprises right now. No info needed. And yeah, it all works. I can use that as a touch screen, or I can press A here instead. All right, there we go. So um, yeah, there's that. And then I can scroll that up and leave that in the background. They just gave me a warning there. What was that warning? I didn't even see that. We strongly da -da 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 -da, don't rely on safe states, da -da -da -da, in game saves, if it's corrupted. Okay. Um, but yeah, guys, Moto G4 Play. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of browsing, just show you how long it really takes. But remember, my internet's a bit rubbish here. Um, let's try Tech Radar, see what's going on there. Let's try the desktop sites. See how we go there. Oh, it's put me back into the mobile site. Maybe I have to turn it sideways. Let's try that. But the battery seems quite all right. Uh, I mean, quite normal for a phone anyway. Um, yeah, we've got uh, nothing much going on there. Uh, let's try a different website. What should we try? Engadget. I like Engadget. If you could try a bit of Engadget, you know how it, Okay, I can't even spell Engadget, but there you go. <laughs> but um, yeah, as you can see, guys, the... um. The performance is quite decent. Obviously, this is only day two. Um, the real test for these phones is like a month later or two months later when you've got all your apps on there and it's running slow as anything. But um, right now, it's not super fast, but it's not super slow either. So um, that's quite decent. Um, let's go into the camera, see what we've got going on down here. Um, can you see that? Maybe if I focus on it with my OnePlus, first of all, and then there we go. So, um, okay, this is a really bad, hold on, let me actually, oh, there we go. See, it's actually quite a decent camera, not that bad. 8 megapixels, um, it's not going to win any medals, but it should at least get what you're trying to take in front of you. And shutter, a bit slow. Oh, it's got automatic HDR. I mean, let's take the automatic HDR off and see if we get a faster shutter speed. What are these options? HDR off. Okay. Let's try that now. Yeah, that's quite quick. If I hold it down, does it do anything? Okay, and now let's review these pictures. And see how good we got here. Yeah, it's not bad, guys. I've seen worse. I'm not going to lie, I've seen worse. This is not that bad. You know, I mean, let's um, let's try zoom in on something. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> right, can't even, can I not even zoom in on that bag? Oh, just about, just about, but obviously not as many pixels as the OnePlus 3. I usually can see what's on those two certificates right there, but at least you can see the happy birthday on the bag. Um, but yeah, for the price that it is, not that bad, guys. Not that bad a camera. I mean, let's go to the front camera as well. Um, how do I turn the camera around? There we go. Um, nope, that's not it. How do I? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. So there we go, guys. Um, front camera doesn't look that bad either. I'm not really that much going on behind me at the moment, to be honest. But, um, yep, there you go. You got the little fallout icon in the back of my OnePlus 3. Um, let's have this there. There you go. Have a little look at that. But, yeah, there you go, guys. Um, what else have I showed you guys? Showed you guys the camera. Showed you guys the, like, little scrolling speed. Done a little bit of internet browsing. Um, I think that's it, guys. It seems like a decent phone. It does the job. It does the average job that a phone should do. Decent little trap phone, decent little spare phone when your main phone goes down. Um, and I think on a budget, this could even be a daily driver with the added fact that you can remove the battery when you need to. Um, and as you can see, my greasy fingers are already showing up on the back. Bit of a grease magnet. Um, but yeah, guys, it seems to just do the job. Do the job. And that's what phones need to do. I think it's got a dual tone flash there, it looks like as well. Um, I mean, let me see that flash. What's really going on with the flash right there? 
that that looks relatively is that bright that looks relatively bright i think that's right but um yeah my voice is still going guys i'm gonna leave it right there um moto g4 play honest london review um it could work it could work if you're on a budget you know 130 pounds you want to use your like twitter instagram um i don't really use facebook but um you know you want to play a bit of game boy DS, Nintendo DS stuff. Um, Pokemon doesn't seem to be working, so I'm just going to uninstall that. But but yeah, guys, um, Moto G4 Play. Let me know if you're thinking of getting a phone. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next one. And if you haven't checked the unboxing to see what it comes with, um, give that another check. It's just the video before this, so it should be anyway. But yeah, G Jamo out.